Takeda. Little Kenji. Nasty case of pink eye you got there. <coughs> you don't know the half of it. Round one, fight. <laughs> Again? Takeda wins. Back off. Round one. Fight! Unbeatable powers. How, may I ask? By devouring you. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Unmoxes. 
You're done! Takeda wins. Faction kill. Step aside. This isn't the way, Liu Kang. You are as foolish as your father. Round one, fight! <laughs> of Kenshi. How could you tell? Same aura of weakness. Round one, fight! <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Takeda wins. Is this another test? Either way, Takeda wins. Good point. Round one, fight! Guess who got paid to kill you? Hope they didn't pay in advance. No complaints so far. Round one, fight! <laughs> You have found me, Takeda. Guess you know what comes next. I am not sure you do. Round one, fight! <laughs>
Round two, fight! <laughs> Takeda wins. You exude psychic energy. I do, Goro Half Dragon. It matters not. Round one, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Takeda wins. Run along, child. I'll be staying right here. Then playtime has ended. Round one, fight!
fight! Tremble before me as I absorb Earthrealm's power. With Shinnok defeated, Takeda and his father set out to find his mother's killer, a member of the Red Dragon Clan. Special Forces Tech enabled Takeda to locate the clan's base and disguise himself and Kenshi as they infiltrated their ranks. Deep within the mountain stronghold, Takeda discovered an actual dragon, a prisoner of the clan. The creature used its magic to divine the murderer's name, then transport Takeda and Kenshi to a faraway cave. There they discovered a man encased in a stalagmite, the dragon had said this man would also have reason to confront Su Chin's killer. Takeda began to free him.